Hey, what up, H Strong? Wanted to talk a little bit about some of the comments we've been sharing lately about uh, uh, alcohol and our presence in the tubes and uh, health in our bodies. Um, you were talking about cutting back on uh, drinking just because uh, the effect of, uh, I mean, <laughs> if uh, it, it, can it be said enough that uh, alcohol, beer, has an epic amount of calories in it and carbohydrates or whatever those are. Um, <laughs> but it uh, it makes a fella it makes a fella chubby quick, and uh, some folks don't like that. Yeah, and I was watching actually the uh, I don't know if you saw my bat fly video where I put a link to uh, um, uh, a woman getting massage. Uh, Psyche truths. Actually, it's, it's not all massages on that channel. It's a lot of about, about health topics. And uh, they talk about, you know, coffee and the negative effects of coffee and the negative effects of alcohol uh, on the body. And uh, that was actually another thing that, you know, you and I were talking about a little bit was, uh, you know, drinking a lot of alcohol actually can increase the amount of stress you have in your life. And I, I think that, like coffee, alcohol, those things can have an effect on your system and the chemicals your body produces. But also I think that after work, if you're, uh, you're angry at work, uh, or if something's happened and you're like, oh man, I'm just gonna, gonna kick back with a 40. And you're drinking a 40 and suddenly you feel great. You know, you feel all mellow, relaxed, you're not really worried about it. The next day you wake up and you're still angry because I don't think you really, you know, if that's what went on, that might not have allowed you a chance to process the upsetting information you got. So, so I guess where I'm going with that is, uh, like, I was like talking to Batfly about uh, coffee and wine. He's like, I oh, just cut back, man. I mean, like, how healthy do we want to be? Like, you might have like, you know, like your idea is like, I don't want, I don't want to have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, obvious body fat. You know, it doesn't make me feel good. I stress about it. Um, you know, that's that's. I'd, I'd say you're right to do so then. But I, on the other hand, been skinny all my life. Um, so much of my life, I was like, just mostly just bone. Uh, and then there's certain times in my life where I got to be muscle and bone without a whole lot of body fat reserve. And now I've got to a point in my life, you can see it in the videos, you can watch me put on weight. And actually, I feel better. <laughs> and I, I wonder if part of that is a response to how much how many times in my life where I've just been hungry and uh, haven't I didn't have enough to eat much less uh, enough money to uh, even come close to abusing alcohol <laughs> or even coffee um, can't tell you how many times in my life uh, I bought the cheapest coffee imaginable and tried to uh, to husband it you know try to make it last as long as possible um, and now, like, I, w I went into a real nice restaurant, ordered, uh, uh, ordered a great big uh, dark beer, and uh, pretty much just the biggest, best steak they had. And uh, it was all kind of expensive there. And I'm like, it's the first time in my life I could do it. And I feel, I like, it's oddly enough, like, it's, it's I'm having the, like, the opposite reaction, I suppose, that we're supposed to have. Oh, as we uh, as we get heavier and out of shape. Oh, there's a horse. Um, I feel good. I feel happy actually with a belly because um, I've never had one before, and I lead a really active lifestyle. I guess that's where the thing is about like you know having uh, steak dinners and <laughs> that's my dog with kennel cough. Um, and having delicious beers and going out, going out to the bar and having uh, having a three-pound burrito and uh, three dark beers to wash it down. And I'm like, man, that's probably just enough calories for the week. But uh, feels almost decadently awesome. And to me, I just that's the thing. Like it's it's like I'm I'm not a proponent of bad health. I'm a p proponent of health. And I think how you the best way to measure that is. Um, Kind of like with your mind, your mind and your body. Like, do you feel good? And uh, if you don't feel good, then uh, that's the thing about like, you have to do what's right for you. Like, um, drinking 40 ounces on uh, for uh, for the YouTube drinking community um, might not be what's best. I know actually, there's a lot of people that 
I interact with on a regular basis that don't like my drinking videos at all. It, it pushes their buttons, and uh, I understand that. So, yeah, and also uh, about like you know I haven't made very many videos lately. I want to stay active in the YouTube drinking community. Let's say. Um, there's such a wide variety of ways uh, that we could express ourselves and still actually kind of stay with the few facets we do want to put uh, out there. I mean, not everyone's going to be like, oh, what did, uh, what did Laura Layla call Forever Wolf? Oh, confessionals. You know, not everybody uh, it wants to put a confessional on the internet. You know, they don't want to say something like, uh, most of my life uh, I was hungry um, and living in poverty. Um, actually, I'm not, I'm not that far up from poverty right now. Uh, I just feel good about it. Um, now, I mean, not everyone wants to give that kind of personal information out. So, yeah, I guess what I'm saying is, like, however, however ways you want to interact, uh, if alcohol is interfering, it's obviously if you, if you feel like, well, I can't be, I can't keep up this pace because I'm going to start having bigger boobs than the strippers uh, that I see at the strip club. Um, then, yeah, I say, well, and then keep doing it. Just, like, just set, set the alcohol aside. Like, keep, just keep putting out exactly the facet that you want to put out. Um, you, just doesn't, you just don't need to have a beer in your hand. It'd still work. Absolutely still work. Because that's the thing, like, we're not interested. I would say the vast majority of us really aren't interested in... Um, the fact that someone's drinking a beer right in front of us. Like the Jay Vega videos. Um, the interesting parts of Jay Vega videos are uh, what happens in the very few, few moments, uh, what he has on the screen, and then you know his, his repetition of drinking. Um, that could almost be stock footage if he could just change what's on the TV and what's, what happens, what he says beforehand. Um, the fact that he's drinking a beer isn't important. Um, What's important is what is Jay Vega, how is Jay Vega reacting to things around him and, um, and how is he expressing himself. Ah, I just lost my dog to Beaver. Alright. Luckily, my dog's really sick, so I think the Beaver, the Beaver's most likely to rise to the surface soon. Oh no, there he is. Alright, well I better go anyway, because if, if my dog's going to get pulled underwater, I want to I film it. So. H-Strung, see you in the tubes.